the Devil's Adornments. In the small town of Eldridge Hollow, beneath the shadows of ancient oaks and the whispering winds, there lay a second-hand shop known as Evelyn's Curiosities. The shop, cluttered with oddities and antiques, was the kingdom of a woman named Evelyn, an enigmatic figure with wisps of gray hair and a knowing smile that could haunt your dreams. She collected the remnants of lives long past, and it was in this shop that she kept, hidden from plain sight, a cursed bracelet. The bracelet was delicate and beautiful, made of intricate silver filigree that glinted like moonlight, adorned with an unearthly green stone at its center. Local folklore whispered of its origins, crafted long ago for a sorceress who sought to bind her lover to her forever. It was said that those who wore the bracelet would tighten its grip on life and death, tormenting its bearer until they understood the true meaning of devotion. Sarah, a restless young woman with a penchant for the peculiar, stumbled into the shop on an overcast afternoon, drawn by an unexplainable urge. Her fingertips traced the dusty shelves until they settled on the bracelet, its beauty captivating her. Evelyn noticed her gaze, a flicker of concern crossing her face. Are you certain, my dear? That peace holds a darkness you cannot fathom. But Sarah, yearning for adventure, merely laughed it off, and with a charming flirtation, she bought the bracelet, dismissing Evelyn's warning as mere superstition. The first few days passed uneventfully, and Sarah reveled in the attention the bracelet brought her. Friends complimented her style, and strangers seemed to be drawn closer, their eyes lingering a moment longer when she entered a room. However, as the days turned into weeks, a shadow loomed over her life. It began with unsettling dreams, visions of a man with hollowed eyes, his outstretched hand beckoning her through fog-laden paths. Every night he drifted closer, whispering her name with an otherworldly timber that chilled her bones. As the dreams intensified, Sarah noticed peculiar things occurring. Objects in her apartment moved without explanation. Reflections in mirrors twisted, showing not her own face, but that of the gaunt man from her dreams, his expression a blend of longing and despair. She often heard whispers that felt like cold fingers trailing down her spine, speaking of a love that could never be free. With each passing day, the bracelet seemed to tighten around her wrist, each clasp biting deeper into her skin. A tingling pain spread through her arm, as if the bracelet were drawing life from her. Friends began to distance themselves, their expressions turning to unease, their laughter fading like echoes in the wind. A new despair settled in her heart, mingled with the fear of losing her sanity. Desperate to understand what she had brought upon herself, Sarah returned to Evelyn's shop. The bell above the door tinkled ominously, a sound that felt charged with foreboding. Evelyn, at once somber yet sympathetic, met Sarah's frantic gaze. You should have listened, my dear. The bracelet binds not just the living, but the dead as well. It is a vessel for a love turned sour, trapped in eternal grasp. It calls to you, she explained, her voice trembling with urgency. I can't take it off. It hurts, Sarah cried, trying to pry the bracelet from her wrist, but it wouldn't budge. Evelyn sighed. To free yourself, you must seek the sorceress's grave. You must return what is lost and plead for her forgiveness. Only then can the curse be lifted, or you will become a part of it, forever entwined with one who never truly loved you. Believing she had little choice, Sarah embarked on the journey, guided by moonlight to a forgotten cemetery on the outskirts of Eldridge Hollow. The air grew colder as she knelt before a crumbling headstone. Forgive me, she whispered to the unearthed remnants of the sorceress. As she clasped the bracelet in her trembling hands and laid it upon the grave, the ground trembled. The whispers intensified, morphing into anguished cries. A dark mist rose from the earth, and the gaunt man from her dreams took form, his eyes blazing with a tortured love. "'Why have you forsaken me?' he rasped, reaching for her, his spectral fingers barely brushing her skin. In that moment Sarah felt the painful grip of the bracelet slacken, the cursed energy pulling away. She closed her eyes, confronting her fears of love, loss, and the shadows that entwined them. I'm not yours to claim, 
she shouted as she ripped the bracelet from her wrist, feeling its weight lift from her heart. The mist shrieked, the figure's face contorted in grief before it vanished into the void. In the aftermath, as dawn broke over Eldridge Hollow, Sarah emerged from the graveyard, liberated yet weary. She had faced the curse and survived, but the darkness lingered within her. Though the bracelet was gone, the scars it left were not easily forgotten, a reminder of a love that trespassed beyond the grave, a lesson forever imprinted in her soul. Returning to Evelyn's shop, she entered with a sense of solemnity. I understand now, she said quietly. The burdens we carry for love can outlast even death. Evelyn nodded understandingly. But it is the choice to let go that ultimately sets us free. And with that, Sarah left the shop, a weight lifted but the haunting knowledge of the bracelet's tail lingering like a whisper in the wind, a dark fable of love and loss, where even the most beautiful adornments can bear the heaviest curses. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.